honey. Catherine Tomsky's on the phone. Hello. What? what? No. No. Where's Bob? But uh, it reminds me of my favorite poem, which is um, Roses are red, violets are blue, I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. <laughs> draws a picture of a tree, so what do you think of that one? You think, sex, all right, and he draws a picture of a car, a house, sex, sex, sex. The doctor says, you know, you're obsessed with sex, and the patient says, well, you're the one drawing all the dirty pictures. <laughs> I'm giving you back your admitting form, Leo, to save you any embarrassment. Embarrassment? Yeah. Catherine, you have been duped oh. by a textbook narcissist, a, a brilliant sociopath. But... Brilliant enough to dupe my entire staff? I doubt that. Now, it's perfectly natural for a what? patient to bond with his analyst. Oh, it's not that! If you want to be rid of him, just tell him you won't treat him anymore. Catherine, that's easy for you to say. The man is, is, is human crazy glue. No, you should never have let him sleep in your pajamas, Leo. No, oh, I can't believe that I'm hearing this. Relax, Leo. I'm relaxed! Take a vacation. I'm on vacation! Maybe you should check in here for a few days. Get a handle on things. <laughs> it was an interesting morning, fruitful, but it lacked the intensity that you and I generate together, the sparks that we get one on one. We just got to figure out a way to work around your schedule. Could we work afternoons? Two to four, three to five, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? You'd rather work mornings? It's a combustible relationship, isn't it? Is it just you and me, or is it you and everybody? What is this, isolation therapy? <laughs> <laughs> 